Hey folks, welcome to an impromptu six minutes of witchcraft with me, Laura Tempest Sackroff. So uh, I want to talk about competition and collaboration in witchcraft for in several different arenas and how that's effective. Uh, and I got started on this first. Let me set my six minutes here. Boom. Uh, so I happened to be doing some artwork, uh, listening to podcasts like I do. And I had just finished with one set of podcasts and took a moment to scroll on Facebook and I came across in my feed, Amy Blackthorne's uh, The Blackthorn Grove podcast. And uh, so I was like, oh, let me just, I'm done with one podcast. Let me listen to this one. And it happened to be on competition. I will link it in the notes so you can listen to it as well. So I love Amy and uh, she brought up some really excellent points that also got my, my brain going because it seems like this topic of, of competition um, in books, in events, in practice, and whatever it is, is a kind of permeating topic in the magical community um, for a long time, but it seems to be bubbling up for um, maybe over the last month, few weeks. I don't know. I'm <laughs> I've kind of been busy trying to get a lot of things done, so I have probably missed a whole lot of shit. Uh, but you know, Amy brings up some excellent things, so I'll try not to repeat what Amy says, but um, just kind of the, to go over a few things and from my experience. Um, so I've been producing events for over 25 years. I've done art events, dance events, magical events, uh, probably even more music events, <laughs> steampunk things. You know, I, I've organized things all over, all over the country, um, probably even going a little further than that. And I can really say that with events, each creates its own thing. Like there isn't one event for everyone. There just isn't. Uh, and so it's wonderful to have diversity. And so those things aren't in competition. It's like, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Make what you're doing the most awesome it's going to be. And I think this is something that can apply to pretty much everything else we're going to talk about. So whatever you're doing, put 100% into that. Uh, when what you believe in, what you're excited about, and it will be successful. I, I've constantly seen, especially in dance, oh my god, competition in dance in terms of business, just insane. And some of the most bitchy, um, backstabby behavior um, that you, like put high schoolers to shame. Uh, I think because there's a sense of <sighs> limited um, limited opportunities, especially for performance, who's going to get a gig, uh, who's not going to get a gig, uh, how much is that tied to your body? Because there's a whole lot when you're actually performing and using your body. Um, strange things happen with ego. And so nasty rumors get started. People just do cutthroat, bitchy things to damage each other which is shit. It, it doesn't, you might win you this one gig, but in the end, it doesn't really create a fostering community for students, for an event, for other people to wanna hire you for other things. Um, it doesn't grow the community. And I feel like that's probably true in terms of the magical community as well. Because in terms of, of witchcraft, it's like, we're not even talking about gigs here. Like sure, there are speaking engagements, but like when it comes to books, there's ton of publishers out there, all different kinds of publishers. You can self-publish. And the awesome thing about books is that you can buy one and read it, or maybe get one from the library, return it, get another book. Like you, there's no like, I bought one book in witchcraft and you're done, you're set for life. Like if that's what you think, you're so fucking wrong. It's hilarious because that's not how it is. You read one of my books, you'll learn a lot, but it will not be the one book to cure and to like, do everything you ever need and more. Um, and that if anybody was trying to sell you that, they're full of shit. Uh, so when it comes to books, it's like, I don't look at myself as being competition with any other author out there. I'm excited to see what other people have to say. Uh, as long as they're putting out, you know, what's more important to me is, is the information they're putting out there accurate, especially in terms of history and practices that's safe for folks. Um, you know, <laughs> is it plagiarism? those are things to be concerned about like in any form of publishing so but I, I don't see myself in competition with any other author I don't care what publisher you are I don't I don't care <laughs> if you're self-published uh, what I care is having your unique voice out in the world 
and wherever you produce there will be a market for it there will be somebody who will be helped who will be inspired by your work and that's because we're all so incredibly diverse in our backgrounds and our experience how our brains work and so to each their own and in terms of things like readings and artwork and other such things like again you will kind of have a self-selecting audience um clientele um, there will never be a lack of clients who want readings. If you are good at what you're doing, they will come. <laughs> They'll keep coming. <laughs> and for whatever it is, as if it's a quality product that you're putting out in the world, people will enjoy it. When it comes to your personal practice, it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. Like even if you think they're they're doing it wrong, as long as that's not directly impacting what you're doing or is a detriment to other people, focus on your path. All right, it doesn't matter if somebody learned the whole tarot quicker than you did. Who gives a shit? It's your journey. It's your time. The only person that you are competing against, technically, and Amy said this as well, is is yourself. Right? And I've said that in dance too. It's like who who cares what anybody else is doing? This is your experience. I have one more, kind of keep going on that. So in your own personal practice, I don't care if you're an, a new witch, if you've been doing this for 10 years, if you're doing this for 40 or 50 years, you're always growing, you're always learning, and that is awesome. So your path is unique to you, right? Your relationship with the deities, the spirits, the ancestors, that's your relationship, it's nobody else's relationship. So what I recommend also is to think about being in a collaborative spirit um, when it comes to working with if you wish to work with other magical practitioners if you wish to do business with other folks think about things in a supportive and collaborative way and support the folks that you are excited about if you enjoy something tell people about it if you love it go if you if you want to meet other folks Go for it, you know, <laughs> safely in a pandemic sort of fashion. And support is going to always go further than the opposite, which is if you have to like constantly be bashing everybody else to build yourself up, like that's just digging a hole. Like that is like you, you waste more energy trying to break down everybody else instead of building yourself up. Like if you're doing awesome work, if you're doing great work, if you're doing things that are inspiring to people, it will show without having to tear anybody else down to say, this publisher's better than that one. This author does like, everybody has their, their niche. So revel in that and it really does work. And jealousy, you know, it's part of human nature, but it's a really bitter pill and it's a really bitter, peel, bitter pill that some people enjoy shoving up their own asses. I don't know why, um, to each their own, I guess, again. Um, but it, it's not something that helps lend itself to creative energy. If you see something that somebody else is doing that you think is like, ooh, that's neat, then let that inspire you to see what is your own take, what is your own inspiration on that, without plagiarizing it. And uh, It's better than being like, they're doing that, I can't do it. It's like, why right we're all part of this we're all part of this labyrinth tapestry right you have your own thread support your own thread build it up and you'll find that other people will also support your threads and build them up as well um, it, it's amazing how that works um, and building energy is always much lower much more long lasting than trying to degrade other things out there so uh, and I, I think that's something it's also part of a generational and age thing. Like I notice it, um, particularly, you know, of say of women of my same age where they're just like, what do you, what do you want? Are you trying to get at me? I think because we're just raised at a time where it was like, Ooh, they're all your competition. And like, I don't fucking care. Um, like, I think you're awesome. You think I'm awesome? All right, great, good. Why are we in competition? There's no reason for it. Like the only person who benefits is the other people who, you know, enjoy being assholes. So, you know, again, if that's your thing, not great. <laughs> anyway, 
So I rambled on too long, uh, but I will put Amy's link in the, the little notes. Um, and uh, he interested to hear what y'all have to say about that. And uh, have fun. Be creative. Be inspired. Be supportive. Be made of magic.